I'm going to talk to you about the biggest surah of the Qur'an. That's what I'm going to talk to you about first. The biggest surah of the Qur'an. Now what is it folks? Yeah, this is surah number two. Surah number two. This surah, this biggest surah, number two, is made up of how many ayahs? 286. 286 ayahs. Somewhere in this surah, the ayah occurs, the, I'll recite the Arabic first, and roughly translate after, وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا Thus we made you a middle nation. One of the utterances in this surah, that's found in here, is thus we made you a middle nation. Now what's the Arabic word for middle? Wasat. Wasat. The Arabic word is wasat, you don't have to know that. But know that this statement, this declaration occurs in this surah. This surah, was it written? Or was it delivered in the form of speech? Speech. And also, as a historical comment, it wasn't delivered at once. It took almost 10 years to be revealed. So this, this one surah was coming piecemeal. And while it was coming down, pieces of other surahs were also being revealed. And the messenger would instruct his companions, these ayahs belong to this surah, and those ayahs belong to that surah. But when the whole thing is said and done, Baqarah, the second surah, is made up of 286. And in ayah number, listen to this carefully now, in ayah number 143, in ayah number 143, the Lord says, we made you a middle nation. How many ayahs in this surah again? 286. And where does he call us a middle nation? In the middle. In the middle. Now how do you... I understand if you're going to do this in writing. I understand if you're going to do this in writing. How do you do this in speech? And by the way, at the time, there was no concept of ayah number. Like I told you, ayahs, there are 286 ayahs, and there's 143 ayahs. At the time, they never said, haven't you read ayah 12 of chapter 35? They didn't talk like that. They just recited the ayah. They didn't have this number scheme. When did this number scheme become part of the Qur'an? When the Qur'an was finally put into book form. But the generation we're talking about doesn't have a book before them. They don't have that before them. They're, they're memorizing this, and it's completely and entirely an oral tradition. So that's one small example.